So first and foremost, the Bible <clears throat> was totally messed up by the Vatican. And that's no fake. They took out <coughs> Judas, Mary, Judas Thomas, Mary Magdalene. They took out Mary Magdalene. Okay, why? They want total control. You burn in hell forever. And uh, Earth is hell for all the victims that are tortured. And that's about half of them. At least. Like, there's no, you know, Mel Robbins ain't gonna get to half I'm, I'm, any inspirational speaker. Tony Robbins, Mel Robbins. Any motivational speaker is not gonna get to over half. Or when they were pop, when they first became popular, over half the world. Not now at the end, like, um, I just never had anything. I used to, um, it's up to the real Jesus person to repent. Just, uh, let go of all their hate. And that's a, a very hard thing to do when, when you're just mistreated. But then you have to recognize that, oh, okay, well, this earth is nothing. It's hell. So it doesn't matter what happens. But then it does. You know, I'm not going to go and make myself insane. So being with insane people, well, well, I, you know, I mean, Whatever. I just met way too many, uh, unfortunately I met too many insane people in my life. They just were not professional late Susan Chappelle's. They were not professional late Susan Chappelle's. No, 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 they were late. She was high quality. They, all, everybody I knew was... Fucking the white trash. Pieces of shit. No. Don't even deserve. Well, I, um. Me talking about it, yeah, it's the, I'm cursing myself. So I'm cursing myself right now. And to wish the best for my abusers is wishing the best for myself. Wishing the worst for my abusers because they hurt me so bad is wishing the worst for myself. Because I what I want for somebody else, I you know, I you get for yourself. I, I mean there's so many empty vessels, there's nothing there. But I have a reason to hate. But then you're stuck. You feel awful. You're stuck in hell forever. And real Jesus first people are supposed to let go of their hate. Forgive? Um. Why did Gandhi say forgive too? Why did Gandhi say forgive your enemies? Um, well, I, you know, it, why isn't it just good just not to hate your enemy? Alright, it's four minutes. I was going to read um, 1 Corinthians 13. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I have become about a sounding brass or a clanging cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mystery, mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove the mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. 
and there I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, but not love, it profits me nothing. Um, why wouldn't giving to the poor be love? If you, like, maybe people do it for show. Possibly trees, uh, Mother Teresa. I ain't really looking to that story. I ain't care to. Uh, it seems to be true. She's something wrong with her. Um, why? It do, that part doesn't make any sense. And the last part doesn't make any sense. Okay, here we go. Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. Is not puffed up does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never fails, but whether there be prophecies, they will fail. Tongues, they will see. Knowledge, it will vanish away. The knowledge that you know right now will vanish away. What is man's life but a vapor? Vanishes. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when the that which is perfect has come, then that which is in part will be done away. So there you go. Earth is hell. First Corinthians 13. That's a really good um, one right 